Greetings, hello, welcome to the studio. I have a quick video for you today. Um, the idea is to explain something that I could not find the answer to uh, when I was searching online. I want to keep it short and sweet. Uh, there are plenty of videos that I found that talk about how to use uh, the Chauvet Color Strip Mini uh, light fixture uh, and some that talk about how to use the Obey 4. Couldn't find any that made it clear on how to use them together. Uh, so rather than go into talking about what the Color Strip Mini is, how good it is, um, what it's good for, and so forth, or the Obey 4 generally, uh, I just want to explain very quickly to those of you who need to know. Uh, the key is the Obey 4 has a bunch of different controls and buttons. They are set up to work in a different way than this strip uh, Color Strip fixture does. You've got four sliders. This is a four-channel uh, device that can control up to four fixtures. The slide fixture is a four-channel device. It's controlled and it can receive four channels of DMX um, instructions. Um, on the color strip, the first channel controls the mode that it's in, and then the second, third, and fourth channel will either control the three colors of the LED lights, red, green, and blue, or their control uh, if you're on one of the other modes that's not a color mixing mode, they'll control the speed at which the changes happen, the fades happen, uh, and so forth. The, how fast it'll strobe. Um, and uh, so that's how that works. But the only way you're going to be able to use these sliders in, in the right kind of way is to reference uh, page 13 on the manual for the color strip mini which explains to you what the DMX channel values are. Uh, what I've done is put together a um, some what essentially could be just little pieces of paper that you can tape uh, to your controller, like stickers, so that you'll know exactly what you're sliding to uh, and you don't have to reference the manual. So, channel one controls the mode. First mode is static colors red, then green, then blue, then yellow, magenta, cyan, and white, which is all the LEDs lit up. It goes into a change mode. You're not going to see anything until you turn up the change speed on channel 2. Got it? Uh, and if you want it to strobe, you've got to use channel 3, which will blink the changes. Right, uh, Channel 4 doesn't do anything except add blue when you're in the manual RGB mode. So, uh, let's go, then we move into chase mode. Again, not going to do anything unless you turn up the uh, run speed setting on Channel 2. If you want it to blink in chase mode, uh, actually, that's not an option. There's no strobe in chase mode. Um, but there is strobe in uh, in solid. So once we have it say this is on solid blue, we can turn up the strobe um, by putting up channel three. So you can see it's just going to flash. If we get it pretty close to the top, it'll flash very quickly. Mm -hmm. All right, and then in RGB mode. You can choose how much red you want. You can choose how much green you want, how much blue you want. If you want purple, turn off the green, move that up. Okay, and if you want yellow, you're going to use red and green together. And so forth. Um, that's really all you need to know. Um, there's a scale if you just want to use the numbers. It goes from 0 to 255. Uh, I'm going to put a link below. To a PDF that you can download if you want to use my chart, uh, or you can make your own. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, hope that was helpful, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again for a uh, another video soon. Thanks.